Welcome to the tutorial. Today we're going to be building a B-class ship. As you can see, it's a pretty fast ship. So, first thing we're going to do is we will take a tour here. This seems to be Hi, my favorite cockpit you. for larger ships. Uh, so we do have a crew of seven with this B-class ship. Just behind the cockpit, we have the companionway. Then we have a second companionway, yes. and on this one, we have our landing bay access. And just above is whoops, missed. Just above is another companionway with the docking access. This is just single level ship. Now off to the right here we have the living quarters then we go off to the left Hi, and we have the workshop along with an infirmary of course you can put whatever bays you like then off of this we have a armory which leads us to the captain's quarters most of the parts for the ship come from the Deimos Star Yard. Uh, all the parts can be gotten here in the Sol system. To start with, we're going to want to be at the Deimos Star Yard, which is outside of Mars. Once here, we're just going to want to dock. Once aboard, certainly bound itself to the UC military. We just go straight down this hallway here, and we want this stairwell here on the far side of this room. And this is the guy we're going to talk to. Deimos is here to turn you into a trick. Let's get you set up. Alrighty, here are all the pieces we are going to need. And so, generally, I start with the lander. So what we're going to be using is the 120 LD landing bay. We have that in place here. And to the back of that, we want to place the Galleon S204 cargo hold. Then, to that, we are going to place our H2O Atlas Helium-3 tanks, one pair on each side. Then to that we want a Deimos Hull A, just a blank. And on this side of that we are going to put the Galleon S201 cargo hold, and then on this side, I went with the 44T Defender Shield Generator. You can go whichever one you want. After that, next things we want to place are the companionways one by one. You can use storerooms if you want, and we're going to put that directly over our landing bay. This will set our ladders in place so we won't get ladders all in weird places. Then, on top of that, we want to place another companionway. And then in front of it, place a third one down low. This will be for the cockpit to attach. You can leave this one out, but I personally don't like the way that looks. But if you want, you can leave that out. Now, next thing after that is we want to place the reactor and I went with the 104 DS it goes on the back on the bottom there and then we're going to want to put a docker on top right here make sure our ladders stay in place where they're supposed to Next, we will put the bridge on. 
like I say, you can put the bridge here, but that makes all this here kind of tight. I just did not like the way it looked. That's the way I did it originally. Okay, to the back of this, I placed the armory. Uh, you can place, of course, whatever habs you want to use. Then, to this, we're going to put in the living quarters. Set one back, don't put it there, set it back one. Then, we want the captain's quarters. And for the opposite side habs, I put the uh, workshop and infirmary. Um, of course, you can use whatever you like there. Next place, we'll place the uh, grav drive in place. Now, let's go ahead and put the landing gear while we uh, easy. Oh, for the grav drive, I went with the RD3000 beta. You do need experimental in order to probably use some of the parts I have here. So next we want to put our landing gear in place. And they go front and rear of the halves on both sides. This is the 320 CB gear. And I'm using four of them. Alrighty, next we're going to pop our engines on. I am using the Dunn 71 engines and all four. So one there. One on the opposite side. This one we have to hook up there. And the fourth engine right there. Now, let's go ahead and stick these wings on here. So the uh, first one is the Demos Wing A port, and on the other side there you'll see another one that is the starboard. So, one of those on that side, and then the starboard version of the Demos Wing A there. Then we need two of the wing C starboards and two of the Demos wing C ports. If you think the ones without the radiators would look better, of course, go ahead and use it. Then we want the wing A port aft side and the same version here. This is just the this one, the port, then you just switch it around that way. Okay. And then after this wing wing we're going to put these cowlings in place here. So first one we have is a Demos cowling 4. Then turn around and put one on the back, Demos aft. Now from this, we are going to run two radiators off of here. And this is just the Demos radiator. And then we want to put the Spine C4. It's going to be one of our weapon mounts. Next, we're going to place these. We have a Spine A4 on each side. And then six of these spine Bs, three on each side. And behind that, we're going to put a radiator on these hot engines. Okay, and then while you're here at the Demos Star Yard, the last things we can get from here are our weapons. And the way I weapon this one, I use the cannons. 
Mahler 1071 cannons. I went with two of those, one there and one on the opposite side. And then I went with the Atlatl 280B missile launchers. I went with three of these just because it looks mean. If I can keep hitting the wrong button. And then for the backside, now that this is a class B, we are able to use auto turrets and have them face the rear. So first off here, we need two weapons plates to give us a place to mount them. Now when you first get this one from the it'll come like this so just use the button that will uh flip things around for me i'm on a controller so it's the y button and turn it towards the rear now we're placing three of these anything gets behind you they do not last at all one on each of those weapon plates and then one on that one right there and as you can see, there are a lot of places to mount weapons on this boat. So have fun, do what you want. Then finally, just to give us a look here to fill this in, I couldn't find anything on Demos that looked quite right, such as this. Just did not like the look of that cowling there. So what I went with instead was I went and got a Nova Galactic radiator and one for the port and one for the starboard. And for me, I think that just looks better. All right, this is this ship, a uh, pretty nasty little B-class. Let me know if you think anything should be changed or something make it better. Let me know in the comments. And that's it for this tutorial.